Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Turing Test and it's amazing. I am literally recording this video just after I finished recording the previous video because like I am that into it. Oh, that goes, it goes really dark when you look at that. I never noticed that before, but I'm having such a fun time playing this game, so let's jump straight into it. I do want to remind you guys uh, at the start of this video that if you do like what you see and you do want to see more of this game, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys are new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, let's go. The Do Turing things. test has been what criticized. Researchers oh. claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room floor experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. This is super interesting. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. Okay. But if you're if it's telling you what responses to give, then they're not your responses. They're just like programmed responses, if you will. Are we gonna not are we gonna load in anytime soon? Okay we have. We've done it. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. Today? A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Exactly. This woman knows what's up. Okay, I have no idea. What on earth? It says click in one of the analog sticks. I'm doing it, but... Oh, I think it needs to run. Wait, what? Okay, what am I supposed to be doing here? Am I supposed to, like, take that out and then run across? Wait, what? Okay, this has me confused already. I have no idea. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, I get it. So I'm supposed to do this, do that. Then run across. Oh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> that had me for a second there, Tom. You almost had me. But surely Tom could just look at what I'm doing and then imitate what I'm doing. I may oh. be a machine. But I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Yeah, wait, what? I'm not a robot, Tom. Don't even pretend like you can control me. Okay. Wait, what is that? Okay, I see, I see. Oh, but now we're just... Like so. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Oh, wait. And then... Like so. Like so. So good at this game. I'm having such a fun time. This yeah, is the oh. crew's quarters. Oh, that nice? It looks abandoned. Captain Daniel McLean. Hello? Oh, this music's suddenly gone super sad. 
Notice, I do not see the need for so many cameras. Tom's presence everywhere is slightly impressive. I understand the need for transparency, but why is he, is he in the toilet? He's a robot, though. He doesn't understand, like... That we're, you know, he doesn't understand, like... You know, the... the I don't really know how to word it. But, like, for example, if it was... If, it, if, if I was in the bathroom and I knew there was a camera and some person was watching me, that's kind of like perverted, if you will. They can they could look at you and, and see some kind of sexual attraction, whereas robots can't because they don't have that level of like comprehension that we do when it comes to relationships and things. Okay, we have a move of gemstone. Who's this guy? Oh, he has little kids. Why is it something else super sad? Where are they? Oh, this is Christopher Mc... Mc Lean. Sarah Brock. Where is everyone? Is this... Where is me? No. So why am I like... Why do these guys get... Oh, no. Someone proposed. Please don't be dead. That was so sad. Has he been like uh, dorsing himself up? Why is the music suddenly gone super sad? I don't like it. So, this is what I don't understand. Why does the crew get all these nice little areas? Like they have their own rooms, they have beds. And then what do I get? Me, Ava, I just get frozen. <gasps> you know what? I bet that I am actually a robot. Or, or like a. a, a you know, a ro a, like a robotic slash bionic. So kind of like a humanoid robot. Almost like a synth. A synthetic human, if you will. And that's why I'm just like on ice all the time. That's why I'm just frozen all the time or unconscious all the time or whatever the hell I am all the time. So if the crew goes missing, they have a backup so I can These pass the Turing test. Been sent here. It's not safe. Man to space travel. Is not safe. See, I, I'm like able to since mankind um, first space, pass the Turing test. The debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent oh, of the ISA oh, that believes all oh. tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. This is what I mean. Like, if I'm a robot, then theoretically. Okay, I can only have one from there. Um, yeah, so theoretically... Wait, what does this do? Okay, so maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, it, I could be a synth... I could be a synthetic human. Um... Okay, this is... Interesting. Wait. Okay, no. Okay, so maybe if I... Wait, 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 wait. Let me do that. Then do this. Then come over here. And... No, I couldn't do that. Do this. 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 No. Get in there. Like that, and then maybe I can... Huh. Oh, but now that one's still... What powers that door? It's that thing. Okay. Okay, this is complicated. <laughs> this is getting complicated now. So that door's open now, but this door isn't open because the power needs to be off. And I can't get any more of these, can I? Oh, no, I can. Oh, but it just takes that one back. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking, maybe. We have to do this. Then, But then how would we get... We need something to be on that pad. I know, I'm pretty positive we have to, like... No, that makes sense. 
this on like a timer or something? Okay, this just got super complicated. We definitely need this to power. Maybe I can like... No. I was thinking maybe I could like... Oh, you know what? I've got it. If I put it down here, like above it almost, I can then come over here. <laughs> I'm so smart! You know what? It makes me remember that I'm actually not a complete and not a retard. I'm quite good at uh, these kind of games. Um, but yeah, what was my train of thought before I got confused? Okay, so. We sent drones to Earth oh Moon. God, Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it so takes a very far, long like? time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. That's very true. Maybe. Okay, we've done it. Uh, but yeah. So I could be a synthetic human that's designed to pass the Turing test in so case the crew goes missing. So why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I am only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What it's do kind you of mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. So the, the, he has been literally designed so that he cannot solve these kind. He can solve problems, just not these kind of lateral problems, which is super interesting and amazing. Okay, so I think I have to come up here. Oh wait, okay. Hmm. We can't take that because it closes the door. So... I'm so... Hmm. How am I supposed to... Because if I take that, I'm just going to fall. So... <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, wait, no, 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 I get it, I get it. But what if I use this to power this one? And then I go back around. And I grab this little cube thing. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is, like, do this. Oh, God, no, because then that... Okay, no, 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 yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Then I can come up here. that no hmm where is the other one didn't I have two of these oh one of them's up there okay let me go and grab that one because I think what I'm going to have to do is do that I've picked this up because I have to kind of like move this along with me. Like this. Oh, oh. Like so. And then I can come across to here and take these two back. Nice put them in. Okay, like that, and then we're through. Oh, it's some more of these laser ones. 
Okay, so I'm I, I'm almost positive that either I'm I'm a robot or a synthetic human, or Tom is using me in order to get through this like Turing test because he cannot do it. So he's kind of like using me. Maybe he's put like a bit of a chip on me or something like that, so he can transfer himself, his mind over to the other side. Maybe. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Because he can't come up with creative well, solutions. I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Because you need to think think back solutions. to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. That's crazy. That is so crazy, though. That, like, because of our level of creativity, we can come up with creative solutions, like throwing the box through the window. Can a computer ever be creative? They can. But a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. Mm. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological this is, process this is like creates a are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It will happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Okay, so does that ever... Go a different way. I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, this is getting confusing already. I need two, so I need to get that. Hmm, super confusing. Because every time I do that, what if I get it like there to the midway point and then swap it? Like so. Is it still on? Okay, it's still on. I've still got it. Okay, and then we can move it the rest of the way. Like so. And then can we. How do we get it though now? That's the question. Oh, do we have to take this out? That stops powering this. We can then go pew, and then pew, like so. Okay, this puzzle is probably going to be the last one unless it's a super fast puzzle. I don't know why we keep hitting these loading screens, but it's not that bad. They're quite fast. If you weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative. But in mathematical terms, creativity this is, is merely constrained chaos. You know, I like that creativity mean? is constrained chaos. I have chaos. discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. Wait, what? In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. Okay. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic. That it is developed through a biological process. Though that is the process of evolution, or a computed process. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This is my plan. If I can't be seen by the camera, perhaps what I need to do is block the camera's view of me. So for example, like to here, it would be like this. If I just did this, 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 and then grab this other one and put another one on top. 
then perhaps it can't see me when I'm over there. This is my plan that I've planned. <laughs> I'm amazing! Okay, so what is this way? Oh, there's like something there. Storage unit something something. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh, wait, what? 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 This is trippy. Okay, I'm a camera then. This much we know. I want a stairway like this in real life. Okay, so how do we get... Easy. So, I think the point is, it's trying to maybe prove that... Even when piloting a robot, I can still solve the puzzles. Because I'm in control of it. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Okay, this is going to be... Wait, could this be the last puzzle? Okay, no, that looks like a big puzzle. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode off there. If you guys did enjoy the episode, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh. Dude, this puzzle, adios.